You have to imagine it's a windy day so that that little flower bud of hair is blowing up and down from the mighty Hercules face. Because that's how it was when I got the idea to write this poem, Hercules and the Oak Tree. Mighty Hercules, there you stand, powerful in lion skin, cudgel in hand, your proud pose eloquent of command, staring keenly into the strand of oak a mischievous wind blows across your sightless eyes. Irreverent leaves wreathe not your head in glory, but dance about to disguise your noble brow and tickle and even get up your fine chiseled nose as higher and wider the vast oak tree over your slight white form grows. This naughty tree may feel free to sport and take such liberty with you because it sees your marble club no more can move, let alone strike true. Or because you have grown so close over the years as now to be as one, the oak tree sacred to your father's use and you your father's half earthly son now i do see the still living tree and the man god stilled in time and space as kindred spirits in strength and grace together in this garden place whispering of wind rustled oracles of epic and heroic deeds that fable dilates the two of you whose mighty hearts have decided so many lesser fates.